Good evening and welcome back to Beeraj. Today my nephew Sashwat Swaminathan is here. It's a Christmas break for him in university. So he is here for some time. So I thought over Christmas weekend we will discuss basic investment principles through which investing can be done. And uh, we are going to look at Warren Buffett over the next two days. We understand, we'll try to understand how he works and uh, how you can benefit from his style of investing. So, Sashwat, what do you have for us? Yeah, so um, first off, I want to start off by talking about Warren Buffett's investment journey. So, first off, he started as a protege of uh, Benjamin Graham and Dodd. And uh, he was a cigarette butt picker. In the sense that um, he picked stocks which had one more um, puff of smoke left, right? So, he bought um, stocks regardless of the quality of the company as long as the asset was cheap enough in comparison to its uh, book value or rather working capital, net working capital, he would purchase that company. And uh, in some cases, he would uh, sell it back. He was trying, that's what happened with Berkshire Hathaway. He tried to sell the stock back to the guy who was uh, this thing, who owned Berkshire Hathaway. So uh, first I wanted to talk about that where he started off with and now what he's doing, which is... Uh, and look, we'll come to what he's doing now later. Yeah, so let's so. talk about that, yeah. These are com- basically book value. Yeah, book value, working capital. Yeah. Yes, so working capital is book value, provided a company doesn't have too much debt. Yeah. So that's a something which we have done either uh, also. Yeah. If you look at two of our, one of our picks, big picks, was uh, definitely Karnataka Bank. Yeah, which was Karnat- trading significantly under its book. Yeah, even today it's significantly trading below book. Yeah. But at that time, it was significantly below book. We bought it for around 37 rupees or 36 rupees. 36 rupees, where the book value was 150 plus. So, right. so you bought it for one-fifth of book value. And they had a banking license, which basically they could accept deposits and lend money. Basically create money in the fractional banking system. Fractional reserve banking. Yeah. yeah. And it was not a government bank. Correct. See, government bank, there will be destruction of wealth. Because they have to give lend to money to those whom the government decides. And needs. there's a lot of political pressure. Political pressure. But here was a bank which was politically independent. Only it, liable to its shareholders. Only liability was its shareholders. Yeah. And uh, was available at a significant discount. Correct. So a lot of people gave a lot of stories. But it gives you a long time to accumulate those stocks. Yeah. It was trading at a discount for quite a while. For a while. It's, even now it's a discount, but the discount has narrowed. It, for a brief time, it went above almost at book value. Yeah. Now it's again below book. So it gave a significant opportunity for us to buy. Accumulate. Accumulate. And it did give us a couple of dividends which were very rich. Yeah. And then the stock just took off. I think we also had a chance with Indusind Bank when it... Uh, yeah, but Indusind Bank was more like that Amex yeah. salad oil, which I think we will discuss later. Yeah. Since you bought cigar butts, I'm talking We're about a cigar butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then another cigar butt which we did in but but that gave Oh, you don't think Indusind is a, was no, a cigar India, As Indusind was a special situation thing. Okay. The other thing which we got was Tangamail. That is true. Tangamail was a big... So you had talked to the... I went, met the owner. Yeah. I spoke to Ramesh. You and got I, an idea of what he was doing. I got a fair idea of what he was doing. Yeah. At 250 rupees, it was a steal. Yeah. And uh, from there, there was no looking back. Yeah, even I had my doubts about the company, but you said you talked to the owner, owner. and you know exactly yeah. what he's doing. Then the other thing which we, cigar butt we picked up, which just went above its book value and stuck stayed stuck there for some time, I have not seen it, is Sinclair Hotels. Oh yeah, Sinclair Hotels we bought for I think uh, 32 rupees or 30, yeah. what, 37 rupees or something like that. Yeah, and then there's a stock which we have not talked much Oh yeah, the small cap uh, the various, GSS Infotech. GSS Infotech. That yeah, I we came up with that stock after looking through. So we used the scale method of going through. Uh, yeah. Well, scale method Moody's, but digitally. Uh, basically, looking at the way he looked at Moody's listings. Yeah. You went through the listings and you bought that uh, company. So I was looking at companies trading at a discount to its working capital, working which is cap- a cigarette butt method. Method. Yeah. So we bought GSS corporate that yeah, 26 or 27 rupees. Yeah, and I think it went up to 100 rupees or something. Yeah, let me just quickly check what the price is. It's way more than 100. 261. Huh? Uh, 261 rupees and it's 
52 week high was 275 rupees so that's yeah. something which is a cigar but again yeah so gss is now trading at uh, around 265 rupees so i didn't sell you sold yeah i sold as soon as i broke even because i thought i made a mistake in the analysis goodwill was a large component of its assets but i i was holding yeah on. you held on to it yeah so that is something which i enjoyed so these are three things but sinclair was more of a wonderful a, company at a great price i wouldn't say that because the turnover went never went up and came down true yeah it was kind of stuck it i think it keeps yeah. companies on this but anyway it was below i didn't bother as long as it was below the net cash flow yeah and for a long time i don't know whether wipro is now for a long time wipro was also below cash flow for some time but i have not looked at it so yeah but it's still trading at a cheap pe though it's trading comparatively to other so, yeah. it companies now the idea behind this f- form of investment is when you do this yeah you keep buying and you forget don't worry about the crowd yeah so i never it never bothered me that i bought i bought it cheap you trust the process i trusted the process there was no debt in it and uh, that actually brings me to a quote which peter lynch says he says uh, companies that have no debt cannot go bankrupt yeah so they didn't have any debt yeah they were making consumer focused products yeah they were out of favor for some reason right and uh, they once it turned around and uh, the stock just went up yeah so it was ecpc there was no real brain work to be no had brain there. work there one thing you had to go through uh, the list very yeah. painfully find out stocks which were below working capital it's more of a brute force technique yeah, it's a very anybody can do it but then you have to sit down and make it happen i'm nervous i won't put 50 lakhs in it yeah but buffett says about if you are a 5 million 10 million kind of guy yeah you can make 50% per annum is what he said in one of his uh, yeah so you will make you in all these cases you make 50% per annum. yeah way over 50% yeah so this is the style which he talks about yeah in which you can make about 50% right so people think i'm extraordinary because i said only and i did south indian bank similarly at 5 rupees oh yeah yeah that was a big buy yeah yeah so all these stocks which i went very successful yeah south indian bank and we bought, we've been buying south indian banks for the past, south indian bank stocks for the past over 6 7 years so south indian bank yeah uh, karnataka and uh, tangamail and gss and sinclair yeah there are five stocks which were uh, great cigar butts cigar butts yeah. which clearly demonstrates in respect to which market you are operating in yeah you will if you buy a cigar but and you play it blindly yeah. you will make a lot of money yeah uh, that being said they don't um, destroy working capital over there yeah they don't if you don't have debt yeah like peter lynch says and you're making a profit if you are making up if you have a positive cash flow yeah and you don't have debt yeah it's very little, unlikely that you will go, go bankrupt. bankrupt thank you for watching be rich i hope you enjoyed this content if you did so like the video subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification if you do not turn on the bell notification you will not be notified every time we put out a video once again i thank you for your support for beach i want to thank all of you for supporting our event in oman with great enthusiasm a lot of people turned up in oman and a place where i am i don't have much influence I wish to thank all of you for your support. The next event is going to be in Qatar, Doha. The event is scheduled for the last week of January. Those who would like to meet me in person in Qatar, Doha or come to our event in Doha can send their request to the mail ID given below or contact the WhatsApp number flashing on the screen. My team will respond to you. See you in Qatar in the last week of Jan. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks Extraordinary Profits These books are published by us and are ready If you want to procure a copy send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you If you want an Amazon Kindle copy you can click the link below Finally those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to beerichenglish@gmail.com Once again I thank you for your support If you like this video press the subscribe button of my channel hit the like button and turn on the bell notification